Hi everyone, welcome to Ideas for Profit. In today's segment, we are going to talk about another interesting pick from the chemical domain. This time it is Nocil Limited, which is the largest manufacturer of rubber chemicals in India with a market share of around 50%. Coming to the key highlights from the business, company's revenue is driven by rubber consumption growth in varied industry like tire, latex, uh, footwear and industrial sector of which the biggest chunk uh, comes from the tire industry for Nozzle. Uh, the 65% of revenue is from the end market, which is expected to grow by 12 to 14% in the medium term. Now this is backed by significant capex commitment from the end market. Talking about the opportunity size, the global rubber chemical market size is estimated to be around 12 lakh tons. In India, it is around 75,000 tons. And to give the company's standing, uh, the company's current capacity is around 55,000 tons. Now, to meet this international opportunity as well as incremental demand in India, uh, company is undergoing a capex program wherein its capacity is expected to double by the mid of next fiscal year. Talking about the export market, company benefits from the China factor, which is partially structural in nature because of the ongoing supply side reforms in China, as well as company also benefits from the opportunity which is with the company is getting because of US China trade war because of which now there's a high demand for companies product in US market now talking about the outlook for the company uh, we expect that the company would be able to maintain its dominant presence in the local market mainly because of its technological leadership and client relationship here it is very important to understand that the product approval cycle in this end market is incredibly long about two years and the characteristics which are imported by rubber chemicals are also indispensable and there is no ready substitute to that. And to that extent, we expect certain, certain kind of client stickiness uh, uh, as far as the nozzle is concerned. As far as the export market is concerned, company should be able to garner high share from the exports because the company's focus on uh, specialty products as well as the benefit arising from the trade disruption due to US and China trade war. Uh, having said that, uh, uh, the company's KPS growth program is on, uh, on track and we expect that the sales growth because of that as well as the opportunity given should be in the vicinity of 20 to 21 percent in, in the medium term. However, the EBITDA margin which is currently elevated around 29 percent may moderate a bit and can settle around 25 to 26 percent mainly because of the possibility that the anti-dumping duty which the company benefits from may not extend beyond July of next year. Uh, having said that, the stock is currently trading at very attractive uh, levels. It is around 9.8 times of fiscal year 21 estimated earnings. In terms of EBITDA, it is around 5.4. And so the current levels looks quite interesting for investment purpose. So that's it from my side. For more views and updates, continue to log on to moneycontrol.com.